hello welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation 1 over x plus uh, square root of uh, x plus 1 over x is equal to 5 we need to find all possible values of x so let's start 1 over x plus square root of this uh, x plus 1 over x uh, can be written as x over x plus 1 over x is equal to 5. Next, 1 over x plus square root of this uh, x over x is equal to 1 plus 1 over x is equal to 5. Now, here we have 1 over x and here we have 1 over x. So, we suppose that let 1 over x is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation, then this equation will become m plus square root of 1 plus m is equal to 5. Now, we move uh, this m to the right side. At left side, we are left with the square root of 1 plus m is equal to 5 and this uh, positive m becomes uh, negative m at right side. Now, from here, we take uh, square of uh, both sides of uh, this equation and this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root. At left side, we are left with uh, 1 plus m is equal to by using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. This uh, 5 minus m whole squared is equal to 25 minus 10 times m plus m squared. Now, we rearrange it this expression we write this m squared first m squared then we write this negative 10 m negative 10 m this uh, plus m becomes uh, negative m at right side plus uh, this 25 25 and this uh, plus 1 becomes uh, negative 1 at right side is equal to 0 next m squared negative 10 m minus 1 m will become negative 11 m plus 25 minus 1 24 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. We write this uh, m squared m squared and we split this uh, negative 11 m as we split this negative 11 m as negative 8 m minus 3 m plus this 24, 24 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out m in bracket left uh, m minus 8. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 3, negative 3 as a common factor and in bracket left m minus 8 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m minus 8, this expression m minus 8 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 8, m minus 8 as a common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this m and this negative 3 in bracket left m minus 3 is equal to 0. From here either this expression m minus 8 is equal to 0 or this expression m minus 3 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m 8 and from this equation we get the value of m is equal to 3. Now, to find the values of x, 
recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 1 over x is equal to m we have supposed that 1 over x is equal to m first in this equation we put the value of m 8 then this equation will become 1 over x is equal to 8 and this implies that x is equal to 1 over 8 now in this equation we put this value of m 3 then this equation will become 1 over x is equal to 3 and this implies that x is equal to 1 over 3 so for now we get two values of x x is equal to 1 over 8 and x is equal to 1 over 3 and since uh, we have solved a radical equation we must uh, verify these values of x by putting these values in the original equation the original equation is 1 over x plus square root of x plus 1 over x is equal to 5. First in this equation we put this value of x 1 over 8 then this equation will become 1 divided by 1 over 8 plus in place of this x we write 1 over 8 plus 1 divided by 1 over 8 and this is under square root is equal to 5. Now, this 1 over 1 over 8 is equal to 8 plus square root of this 1 over 8 plus 1 over 1 over 8 can be written as 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 8 plus 1 over 1 over 8 is equal to 5. next 8 plus square root of this 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 8 is equal to 1 plus this 1 divided by 1 over 8 is equal to 8 is equal to 5 next 8 plus square root of 1 plus 8 9 is equal to 5 and 8 plus square root of 9 is 3 and this is not equal to 5 so this value of x 1 over 8 will be rejected this is not a solution now in this equation we put the value of x 1 over 3 then this equation will become 1 over 1 over 3 plus square root of in place of this x we write 1 over 3 plus 1 divided by in place of this x we write 1 over 3 is equal to 5 now this 1 divided by 1 over 3 is equal to 3 plus square root of this 1 over 3 plus 1 all over 1 over 3 can be written as 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 plus 1 over 1 over 3 is equal to 5. Next 3 plus square root of this 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 is equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 1 over 3 is equal to 3 is equal to 5 next 3 plus square root of 1 plus 3 4 is equal to 5 next 3 plus square root of 4 is 2 is equal to 5 
and this uh, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, this value of x 1 over 3 is a valid solution of this equation.